All right, we're back on this one here. So, this is a, had a chance to uh, set up overnight. So, that's all cleaned out. I uh, ground that big turd that was in there. It hardly left. That'll be the next thing to hit, I'm sure. So, now we're pretty well ready to put these back together. Get this lower end going. I also took the oil pump and Plugged up the fitting there, painted the pump, scratched the pump, and it looks like I got some paint in there maybe still. And I also lapped the ball seat down in there with a the lap. That'd be a ball bearing well at the end of a long rod. Where's my gears at? That ain't gonna fit. Must be this one. Huh. That don't work. Keep finding one until you do. Yep, there it is. There we go. Alright, if there's any paint in there, it rotates, so we don't care. It'll leak out. Come on, gear. Gravity help you. Mm. Might be some paint in there. <clears throat> I think somebody put some paint in the oil pump. Not sure how that happened. All right. Any of the high stuff anyway. If it doesn't scrape out, it's not important. Just more, more contamination on your motor. Paint's still sticky on the back side. Alright, we got most of that out. This side's clean. Clean enough. That'll work. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get this thing together. Uh, let's see. We need to check the fit on the right case bearing again. I'm done with this. I'll go ahead and put the bearings over here. Wipe it all down again. Just make sure it's clean from last night. Okay, these are our washers and our snap ring. Two washers, two snap rings. Yep. That rag's dirty. I'm switch over to a cleaner rag. We're on assembly now, we gotta get cleaner rags. Always make sure everything's clean. were cleaned up before. Put the washer back on how it was. You can see the snap ring mark. Now the washer holds the bearings on there for you so you can stick it on there like that. We got the snap ring here. This appears to be a new one. 
At least it wasn't used very much. Start one end and work your way around on that. That's what fingernails are for when you still have a couple left. Or pop in there. A little small screwdriver and make sure it's in there. Seems to be good. Make sure the bearings are loose. That means you have in play. You have in play right here. Don't need a lot, but you need some. Otherwise the cage is to lock up. If the cages are locked up, then the bearings are locked up. Which means your motor will lock up at some point. Or get real loose. <clears throat> if it doesn't lock up, it gets really loose. Depends how long you run it that way. Alright, that's all lubed. Okay, sticky. All right, let's see if this fits on here. Yeah, there's the mat. Okay, you lift up just to about a sixteenth or so to an eighth of an inch, and you want to make sure it wiggles. All right. Perfect. So we know that's got clearance for sure. I did that check before, but it doesn't hurt to do a double check after it's assembled. That's your last check, so make sure it's good. Okay, now I gotta put the Timken bearing in there. So I got to hold it in the vise over there, seeing the holding tool. So we got different ones here. This is for SNS wheels, this is for Harley wheels. Harley wheels have a bigger bigger hole in them and they're further apart. I mean, no, they're close together, excuse me. The S and S's are further apart. That'd be these holes right down here. That's what these go into. So this is one of the tools Dad made back in the day. So, yep, just poke myself. So this goes into the vise and just tilt over there. Something over here got a hold of me. Oh, there it is right there. See it? thing right there. It stuck a hole in my finger. No bleeding yet, so it didn't get me good enough. It's a good time to get rid of burrs when you find them. Because they usually draw blood when you find them. Alright. So this just gets held in the vise over here. Okay. We'll put the crank up in there and then we can put the main guard together. See if it works. Nice and light. Let's get down here in the door down here. Main bearing install tool. Shim washers. Oh, so those aren't the ones we're going to use. These are for cone motors. Don't use those. You have to use. Generator motors look like this. See if I got any. Probably don't have many. I got one. One the better than none. Don't get a lot of generator motors in here. 
like we do the other ones. There's a few more. So that's all we got. There's a little sportster over there. They're different again. Every bike is different. Okay. So that's all I got to choose from. Here's this old one over here. There's your old spacer. Go set up your main bearings. Those are mine. That's his old one. That's his new one. What do you think differences are? No idea. None? No, it's That's 259. 263. That's close. 268. 267. Maybe they're in order. 260. 265. 260. Now they're in order. What was this one? 59? 63. That's in between some of the other ones. 259. The one plus is these are really real thin. You got fireworks already? What? Fireworks out there? Mm -hmm. Actually, you got nothing better to do out there? Maybe gunfire. That happens too. All clean? Yeah, for the most part, I was going to bring that tranny over here and do shit in there, I guess. You know what you suggested? Yeah, hold off for a minute. Yeah. Got to get this together first. Um, bearings. You know what I'm doing around here? Ooh, it's got numbers marked in it. Look at that. Mm. Must be important. Lube. So what's the chance this is going to fit? It's just good, I'm sure. It's going to be perfect? Yeah, I'm sure. Does it run under like it's supposed to? Oh, I doubt it. Let me shut that door down back there. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Don't lock it though. That was a cop. That was a cop? With the Christmas music playing. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. I couldn't tell what that noise was. Who would have thought? He has flashing red lights going? No. Oh. Didn't have a beard either. No beard? No. Oh well. You get all kinds around here. Even cops, I guess. That's all right. As long as they're having fun. We lube it just in case we're going to use it. Oh, I got something I gotta do first. I forgot. These are backwards motors, these generator motors. Yeah, well, we'll be back into this thing anyway.
Yeah, I keep forgetting about these backwards ass things. Oop, off the side. I slipped over the oil. Didn't quite get in the right spot. <sighs> yep, I forgot about that damn bearing. Have these bearings here we gotta put in. Okay, the tool does fit through the hole, that's a plus. So do I put this in now and hope this bearing fits perfectly? I don't have to do it again, or do I set the bearing and take it all back apart and then put this in and put it back together again? What decision is to do? I think we're gonna put it in now, see what happens. We'll make it work. Let's see. It's basically is a single lip seal here, even though it's kind of got a second one. We could get this nut in here and tighten it down first. See, these motors are backwards and big twins. We gotta put this in there first, then put the motor together. Otherwise, you can't torque it. Somebody move this. There we go. Why don't you work the camera? Official tools out. Yeah. So we gotta hold this in there so we can beat on it. It'll be the beating tool. Go this way? Go this way. Hey, big little bass hack works this way, this way. on it, relax your press, bring it up, hold it there, don't hit your hand there. More pressure. Do you notice how it's starting to get tight? Uh-huh. Ah, my finger don't like that. I think it's tight. My finger's sore for some reason. I don't know why it's sore. I only hit it right on top of that stud. Be careful, I can is that what you're not supposed to do? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's tight now. Probably not going to come out. Too short. Do I grow up and get bigger or do I get... To deal with it. Or less tools. Higher shoes. Higher shoes. Such six inch spikes. Is there you go. That's the answer. Okay. Where's the spacer? Don't forget spacer. Very important.
rods are in a hole. Is that important? Hmm? Is that important? Sometimes. Not always. I have found out in the past on these small blower motors, two don't fit in one. Yeah. But on new bikes, with the big bores, they do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can create a situation when you realize, like, oh, no. <laughs> but the biggest problem is when it gets stuck under here. And you keep going tighter, 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 and yeah. it bends things up a little bit. Yeah, that's not good. Kind of moves the rod around, knocks the crank out of true, and bends Back the rod. Back to the drawing board. Bends the rod slightly. It usually requires more work. So now we're in between now. Okay, is that tight? How much of that seal, how much of that bearing, that's the problem with a setup like this. Feel no play at all. Is that good? No. Well, we do have seal drag on there, which affects it a little bit. But... is not dropping on its own either. It's downhill right now. Of course somebody did put a sunday lube on it. I still feel no clearance. So you gotta put a shorter shim on it? Fatter shim. Fatter shim. Appears to have a lack of clearance. So it doesn't want to just move. Alright, so much for the easy job. What a shocker. Of course, these are so light now. You have less to hold on to than a real bike. You have almost nothing to grab a hold of now. heavier than a regular shovel motor. Jeez. Whew. That is a lot of pressure. I can't, get any, can't support it any better because ah, that is heavy, heavy, heavy pressure. Damn. Shit. That's more pressure than I put on it. That's four tons. Damn. I gotta support this. Back of the case is pretty strong, but not the front. That is a lot of pressure. 
Can't put pressure in. Maybe you can whack it and shock it loose. Nope. Well, you can uh, try it heating up, but with the seal in there, you're just still going to destroy the seal. It's not going to work very well. Tons. That is a lot of stinking pressure. Ain't no way I'm hitting on anything up under there. Thing hasn't moved at all. Support the other side too, I guess. Yeah, just get a different fuel gauge. Now we're supporting all all okay. your surfaces. Split in half already. There's no way they would take that much pressure. Come from the back side here. And things are way too frayed. That's too tall. Since we have more than one feeler gauge. So. Post three, maybe. Nope, not quite. Watch. Jeez! Damn! Damn, that was way up there. Almost seven times to pop that thing. That is astronomically high to pressure. Oh, that didn't help to crank any. These are heavy. Jeez, that was in there.
Looks good. Yeah, this side's good. This one's not touching. Didn't affect the outside, so I don't affect the other side either. <clears throat> All right. Heavy about this bike. Okay, that needs to go bigger. No mailman today? Not yet. Did you come late? Sometimes. That was a little bit bigger. Just when we took it out? I don't think so. I think that's the new one. Ooh, that's a lot bigger. I like this one. Foul and a half. Foul, foul and a half. Okay. Hopefully I don't do this too many more times. Take this Christmas spirit right out of you, huh? If that case split in half, you wouldn't be very happy. Yeah, you know. Definitely crawl off the damper for today. <laughs> Be a lot of welding. You can probably replace the case, don't you think? Yeah. Be hard to fix it. Yeah. Depends on how much it cracked. <laughs> Take Timpkins to get them freed up. Still don't feel anything. See how it's trying to go now? Yeah, a little something, huh? It's trying to. Do have grease in there, so or yeah. heavy assembly. Grease. All right. Bust it apart again. Nope. Now you assemble it, see if you're getting in play. When you put them together, you can actually feel inflow. Mm -hmm. When they're loose on one side, it's really hard to feel in place sometimes.
Can't pick up any washers today, did you? No, the passenger place is closed. Uh, what a shocker. Wash in there so it don't scrub the case like it was, or might as well. Oh. I got one on my pocket. You have a Caesar 516 since it's 3A, so I don't oh. think these are going to fit. That was a yeah. shocker. Not so much. And these are the little thing you need to lay in washers. Yeah. The other thing is, you have any thread in here. It don't give you a lot of thread. Yeah. That's the one you machine down to so give you a little more? Yeah, they still don't give you much. Yeah. Whatever you put on there for a washer, you lose. Trade off. I like using little lay on washers, little stainless ones. See those here? They're stainless, mm -hmm. so they don't rust. But they're small, so they don't look like a nice. stupid washer hanging out. It looks like crap. They do take up, you know, sixteenth of an inch of material. Necessary evil. Yeah. These are dull still to that. Most of these is not room to put washers on. Okay, center one. These just got a lot of thread on it. Jeez. So tight. Hmm. Almost like he didn't want to go in there. It's hard to believe. You want to use a little stainless ones? Or you want to use a big fat ugly ones? Stainless is probably better, huh? It'll look better. Like those better? Run with it. <clears throat> It's got a lot of drag in there, I think. Cold half oil. Yeah, I don't know when playing it, but you can 
feel. See how it comes down, you can drive it like an old fart, or you get after and have some fun. If you drive like an old fart, it'll probably break in and be alright. If you like to have fun, it's way too tight. Got some in-play. Stick-ass grease in this cold-ass weather makes it hard to get clearances checked. Appears the pinion snout's going true. That's a good thing. All right. So that comes down to what we're going to use for hardware. Okay, we don't really have much room for washing on these bolts. more. We can probably put them on this one. So much. Yeah, you can probably get them in there. This one easy, you can't do it at all, but it looks like you might be able just to squeeze in. I think there's enough to do it. Maybe right at the limit, but the limit's okay. Definitely on this one we can. This one here is usually pretty long. Oh yeah, plenty. These ones here. Probably get them in all of them. They're close, but we can probably make them work. It'll protect the case better because we had to do a lot of machining the case to fix it. That's why we get a little extra clearance because we did all that work. See that mark right there? Yeah. You know what that is? What it is? It's your, uh, your brake line. At the top again? I don't know. You catch it. <laughs> Yeah, that's where I was uh, eating through the case. What do you think it looks? The oil line looked like, <laughs> or that not the brake line? Rough and ugly, by a leaker. Yeah. That's why you want to try to get it through here if we can. Mm -hmm. So we need to get that figured out before we get too deep into this. It'd be nice too. So it's a good time to go check that in the back right now. Let's see, what you got you got the oil line in the back right now. It's sitting up there. I am messed with that too much. All right, close it up. It's going back. How do you shut off? You shut that shit 